For years, animal advocates have pushed for tougher laws in Kentucky to prevent the abuse of pets. After more than 70 dogs were found neglected in cages this week in Estill County, the most authorities can charge the owner with is a misdemeanor. Bodie Brooks shows us why some advocates want lawmakers to change that. We want to help everything that we can help, and it's hard to keep going when lawmakers in Kentucky don't care. That's the sentiment for caregiver Sarah Fish about the state of Kentucky's animal abuse laws. Bill after bill has been attempted to prevent repeat abuse of ownership or toughen abuse penalties to a felony. We had a case where a man used an AR-15 to shoot a dog over 30 times, killed the dog. Um, under current law, that is a misdemeanor. Williamsburg representative and former prosecutor Nick Wilson told lawmakers during this past session there was a, quote, blind spot in Kentucky's animal abuse laws. Yet the bill he co-sponsored, House Bill 103, died, only passing the House. We'll get them adopted out, and we know a new batch is just going to come in right after. We would have taken more if we had the room. For the workers who care for these abuse cases, like the 73 dogs found neglected in Estill County, it takes a toll. Already, two other hoarding cases are being housed here. They come in and there's fleas everywhere and ticks everywhere. You can't even see their faces. Um, you can tell that they've been covered in feces and urine, and that's what their home has been like. It's overwhelming. I had a panic attack on the way home. I had to pull over. It's, it's hard. It's hard to see it over and over and over again. Fish and Little both believe animal abuse should be elevated to a felony in Kentucky, saying the penalty is only a slap on the wrist. The Animal Legal Defense Fund ranks Kentucky's animal protection laws 45th in the nation. It's going to be a long process for them. They'll probably be here for quite some time while we try to, to let them know that it's okay to be around people. Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News. The Kentucky State Director of the Humane Society of the U.S. says sadly the Estill County case isn't unique. He points out that when groups don't step in to help abused animals, the county ends up footing the bill for their care, costing taxpayers money.